Hey fellow gamers, it's Keith with KeithsArcade.com. I'm going to do a review today of the new J-Rock Millstar FPGA board. And what this is, is uh, you get this arcade shop. It's a new board that just came out uh, that has uh, several Gottlieb games on it, uh, including four Qbert games. Um, and here's my Qbert. Uh, let me give you a little backstory on this particular game. Um, I picked this up uh, not working with the original hardware. Um, fixed the board rather quick, but I still didn't have sound. Um, and I also had a problem with the transformer. It kept going through monitors. Uh, so since uh, the original transformer was hard to find, and after even putting a working soundboard in this, I still couldn't get sound to come out of it. Uh, I pretty much just gave up and... Uh, threw all the original hardware out of it, uh, put a jam harness in it, and uh, for a short time was running the uh, Blue Elf with just Qbert activated. Uh, and then the uh, J-Rock board came out. It's a pretty good board. Uh, I'll show it, uh, try to show it to you installed in the cabinet here. Right there, really small. Uh, now it does rely, uh, yet you, you do have to load your own ROMs. Um, it runs off of a uh, USB, uh, so you can get a flash drive. Uh, that's also uh, runs your updates. Uh, you got uh, volume control, uh, reset button, all that good stuff. Uh, it does have a jumper setting if you want to hook it up to a uh, computer monitor. Um, and the one big plus is that uh, it has knocker support. Uh, you can uh, wire up to the uh, coin counter 2 pin on the JAMA harness and you can uh, have a knocker for your Qbert games. Uh, now if you do have uh, hooked up to a switching power supply and just running on 12 volts uh, you will want to get a 5194 knocker. Uh, the original knocker runs on 30 volts uh, which I believe you can run but it would be very soft. And Charlie loves the camera. So anyway, um, like I said, uh, here's the Qbert games. I only have the Qbert games activated. Actually, let me get a tripod. I'll set it up here, and um, I'll kind of just show you all the setup menus and all that stuff and show you how it runs. Okay, so here's my particular menu setup. Uh, just the uh, four Qbert games um, and set up uh, deactivated from the menu. Have it set this way because I don't want guests uh, going into the settings and messing those up. Um, now I'm not going to show you all the setup menus and all that uh, because the uh, J-Rock video is out there uh, explaining all that. I'll put a, a link to that in this video. Um, and it's also uh, on the Arcade Shop website in the manual all that good stuff. I just wanted to kind of give you a uh, quick review of the board and how it plays. Uh, so we'll play a couple of rounds of my personal favorite, the Mel Yellow Cubert. Hello, I'm very dog. There you heard the knocker. I do have the 5194 knocker uh, hooked up to the 12 volt line in the switching power supply.
One nice feature about this is that you can adjust the pitch of the of the uh, speech, and you can also adjust the volume of the speech. I do believe I tweaked the uh, pitch. I did not need to tweak the volume. Go ahead and oh. jump off and end this. It does save high scores. Um, bye bye. I believe it only saves the top nine or ten, um, which is I think is pretty standard for Hubert, anyways. Um, and it does uh, not lose the high scores, um, even with updates. I think the only time you would lose them is if you uh, deleted the ROMs and reinstalled them. So we'll go back to the menu. Hello, I'm Check out the faster, harder, more challenging Qbert. And all my games are set to free play. Um, you can change uh, the settings in both the setup menu on the main menu. Uh, you can also just go into a game and hit your uh, test switch and uh, set it up that way as well. Definitely faster, harder, more challenging. I'm not the best Cuber player either, obviously, but... All in good fun. And as you can see, it runs perfectly. Sound works all the way. The animation is smooth. I'm not totally familiar with Cuber, uh, but I think you would have a very hard time telling the difference between this and an original board set. My knowledge, this is the only aftermarket kind of cube board out there that uh, has the knocker support. Okay, that disc sound didn't uh, go away. So the board's not perfect, you gotta consider this is also fairly new. So, J-Rock is uh, still finding bugs and working on those, and there, I think I just found another one for him to work on. So now to get in your main menu, you just hold the uh, player one and two start buttons. You can also adjust the uh, how 
how big of a time delay you want for that. I think I have mine set for two seconds. And Qbert is just like Mellow Yellow Qbert, just without the intermission scenes. Hello, I very bad. We'll try out Qbert cubes. I did have a problem with this one when I first got the uh, board. Uh, it would lock up. Um, uh, not this screen, but the next screen. It would uh, lock up here. Uh, and uh, since then, uh, J Rock has uh, put out an update, and uh, that has been rectified. So I'll just play a quick round of here. And we'll go back to the start menu. Overall, a uh, very good board. Uh, $225 um, at Arcade Shop. Uh, so it's a little bit uh, pricier than the uh, multi-Williams board that J-Rock has. Uh, but overall, a good investment, especially if you have a Qbert that's either missing the original hardware or you're just got, getting extremely frustrated with the original hardware not working, um, which was in my case. Um, the only two minor complaints I have really are, one is you can't boot into a game and have the menu anymore. Um, and what I mean by that is I've, I have mine set to boot into the menu. Um, but, I, but I'd really love to see an option where you could boot into, say, Mellow Yellow Cubert, which is my personal favorite, uh, but still be able to go into the menu by, holding, by pressing these start buttons. Now, if you have it boot into a specific game, um, when you hit the start buttons, it'll just reset that game, and you lose your menu. Um, so if you want to have more than one game on this, you basically have to boot into the menu. Uh, the good thing is he does have a screensaver on here. Uh, so after about 10 minutes or so, it'll uh, go to the screensaver where Qbert's on a disc just going around the screen. Uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, menu burning on your board. Um, and the only other really minor complaint, which doesn't really affect me, um, is the volume could be a little louder. Um, I have mine turned up just about all the way. Um, which is fine for my particular game room, um, but uh, you know if this were out on location or in a very noisy environment, um, it might not be loud enough. Uh, but so those are the only two things I can really see with it, um, other than you know the little bugs, which we just found another one there in uh, the faster, harder, more challenging Qbert. Um, but so far, uh, J Rock's had this board out for about a month now, and. Um, has come out with several updates already. Uh, so as long as you uh, keep updating uh, to the latest uh, version and bug fixes and whatnot, um, very good board. Uh, it seems to run Qbert very well. Um, I can't speak for the other games uh, since I only have a Qbert uh, with the uh, four-way uh, 45 degree directional joystick on it. Uh, but overall, Highly recommend this product uh, if you have a Qbert that's dead or uh, missing boards or whatever. Um, love the knocker support. Um, and as far as I can tell, there's no differences between uh, this and um, uh, the software on the original hardware. So that is my review of the uh, J-Rock Qbert uh, Millstar FPGA board. Thanks for watching.